first sale in this video is Predator Stalker from 1991, sold for £20 all in, and it's going by the GSP to New Zealand. Yeah, I've had this for quite a while, but I did quite enjoy observing it. It's not as blue as that, it's more turquoisey and purpley, but for some reason it's showing up as blue and red, when it shouldn't be. It's Monday morning and the stacks are good, and we had eight sales overnight. Um, including six going to one person of a nice mixture of video games. And one of those uh, games was Plus Postage. So, absolute winner. Everything will go in a small parcel, but we'll go through all that later. All of this is going to the Royal Mail. Lot number one for £29.26 pence plus a small parcel shipping. We've got the Sonic. Uh, the Sonic? We've got Sonic and the Secret Rings on the Wii. CSI Crime Scenes Investigation Deadly Intent on the Wii. PS3, we've got Heavy Rain. Wii U, we have Zombie U, and on the Master System, we have The Jungle Book. Then, I can't remember things, so one sec. Resi 4 was 4 99 all in. Dungeon Siege 3 was 4 49 all in. And Paddington Bear was 19 99 plus postage. Uh, did have someone offer 15 but I wanted to wait out and get that £20, because he is hella cute, and I'm well aware I need to hoover. But, right now, I need a package. I require some assistance. My Zebra uh, 2844 is being very hit and miss in regards to printing. Um, what I've found to work most of the time is once I've turned the laptop on from sleep mode or being turned off, whatever it may be, the first time it does not print, I need to turn the laptop off and then it will print everything. But it's just really annoying. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not losing a lot of time. It's, it's only, I'm losing 30 to 60 seconds a day, depending if I stop and start and things like that. It's just really bloody annoying. So if anyone's got any suggestions to what it may be, I know it's on a data cable, because I replaced that a little while ago, because that's what I originally thought it was. And then before I got to this method, I, uh, what did I do? I threatened to uninstall the printer, and that tended to work. But... But again, it's just really inconvenient having to do that every single time. Um, and then obviously if the laptop goes to sleep and I don't know, I get distracted or I've got to start cooking or deal with the little one, then it goes to sleep and I've got to start the whole process again. And it's just really goddamn annoying. This was the PS3 game, wasn't it? So... If anyone's got any suggestions as to what I could do to stop this from happening, because it's a bit of a pain in my bum, uh, that'd be greatly appreciated. Thank you. Bye. These were a bit of a fail. Uh, sold them for twenty four ninety nine plus postage. It cost me eight pound. Um, not huge money in it whatsoever, but apparently these are on the lower end quality when it comes to trespass boots. But you live and learn. At least it's sold. Tuesday morning stacks if I can get through the gate. 24.99 plus signed for postage for this lovely many faces of Mickey Disney mug. Uh owes me about four quid I think. Careful, we are going big bucks. 9.99 all in for NBA 2K Playgrounds 2. Anyone remember what it owes me? Because I sure as hell don't. Rainbow Island on the Atari ST sold for nineteen ninety nine uh, to Italy on the GSP. I'll tell you momentarily whether that included posters or not. Um, it's not going to really tell me, is it? Damn it! Hang on. Bear with. Bear with. Bear with. Uh, free delivery. So this is from a bundle that I bought last year, I believe, um, between lockdowns, and I think I'm in profit now. And I've still got a massive unit which i need to get rid of i was debating on keeping and i've have like a, a through the ages of video game consoles but I, I don't yet own a mansion so it's quite hard to do but yeah 20 quid all in to italy so thanks to ian aka the master of pieces i've i've sent some cards off to be great i say cards two cards and three stickers off to be graded now ian has been absolutely phenomenal in regards to football cards and stickers and being around two or three months ahead of the trend. Like we literally were buying stuff on his say-so and then boom, 
it would just double, triple in price within two or three months. So I am setting off some cards. I've literally just paid. I paid £158, um, which is the grading for all five cards and the return shipping. However, that doesn't include potential import fees for when the this, things come back. So we have got a Cristiano Ronaldo sticker from 2007 by Panini, uh, card number 57. It looks fairly good. Um, if it comes back as a 10, it could be an 800 quid, which would pay for obviously everything plus a drink on top. I've got two of the 186 cards. This is from the 28th of April. 28th of April. And it's got obviously Cristiano Ronaldo and Alex Ferguson in it. Two of those because I only had, I got loads of shiny stickers, but there was only a few of them that were, to be honest, in good enough condition to send off to be graded. And then I've gone for something a little bit more obscure. We have a Top Trumps European Football Stars, Cristiano Ronaldo. We also have the same, but Lionel Messi. Bearing in mind, at the time of recording this, it is currently Tuesday evening. There, there's heavy, heavy, heavy reports that Lionel Messi is actually going to PSG. So what that's going to do to his collectibles? No idea, to be honest with you. It could be a very, very interesting one. But I want to send some stuff off, and I do, I do want to get some things ticking over so that I can hopefully get some money behind me for when both Ace Grading and uh, PSA open up. Well, when Ace Grading o opens up to begin with and then PSA reopens because I've got a lot of cards to send. I don't know if I mentioned it three or four times, um, but yeah, I've got one or two to send off. Medal of Honour Airborne on the PS3, 1999, all in, going by a GSP to Denmark. Bit of a bolo, this one. So you join me um, sat outside the petrol station about to go in and grab a coffee before I go into London. Uh, I'm going to Grenfell Tower today, which is going to be strange. Uh, we've, we were asked to go in ages ago. Bear in mind, the fire happened just over four years ago now. And we refused it. It wasn't worth the paperwork for, at the time, what they wanted us to do. But now that workload appears to have increased and it now makes all of the paperwork somewhat worthwhile. So going there today, thankfully not going inside. I mean, it's doing what we do. Um, you kind of have to joke about things and people can take it the wrong way, which is completely understandable. But when you're, you're going in to where normally where one person has died, it can be a bit morbid. And unfortunately, you have to crack a joke to make it somewhat bearable to, to work there sometimes. And thankfully, I'm not going into the tower where over 70 people lost their lives because I, I don't even know what that would feel like. I know that there's a lot of contractors on the site. Um, there's triple figures contractors. And yeah, we are just asked to go in. Um, recommendations and help out, give a price, etc., etc. So it's full PPE, um, which is standard. So that's your high vis, your boots, uh, Ear defenders, might not need ear defenders actually. Standard would just be uh, that and a hard hat. I mean, I, and I don't pull off a hard hat, it makes my ears stick out. So it's going to be interesting. And then one of the, the other guys that works for me is going to Essex and then to Bicester. Um, so yeah, she's going to be racking up the miles. Right, that's it. I'm going to go and get me coffee because I need me vitamin pills. So I've just left Grenfell, just parked around the corner. Uh, it just felt like a building site, to be honest. It's it's not, I've not been in London for a very, very long time. Um, probably, probably for at least, got before COVID, um, so two years ago. Um, probably more than that, actually. Last time I probably remember is going to the Pokemon Centre. Uh, but um, the Discord server as well that I was I was on, I've decided to leave. I, I don't like the way that they operate things. Um, I thought I did, but I, I suppose first impressions are everything and they made a very, very good first impression. Uh, however, there is another Discord group which I've been in, God, for like a year. Um, and to be fair, they have been great. Um, so we'll see what happens with that one. Battlefield, bad company too. 249, including free delivery. Free feedback.
Lee, denim jacket, £35, plus postage, add up for 40 took an offer of 35 owes me uh, 5 10 pounds maybe. Tuesday morning, and I need to be at the post office before one because um, there's most of the stuff, like 90% of the staff have all been pinged. There's only one staff member remaining until Monday. Time for a cheeky trip to Smith's. So it is currently Thursday yeah, afternoon, given the food, but I am doing the milk. The girl's been back now for a good few days, and it's like they never left. Uh, it's, it's nice, you can't see, but there's the spilt my dinner. Uh, yeah, it's just nice. It's weird just not having your family with you, so to have them back is very, very nice indeed. eBay sales have slowed up. I've got two to do today, which is nothing. Um, potentially got some good stuff to do towards the end of the month, which I'm very much looking forward to, to doing. And fingers crossed, I'll be able to take you with me in its own separate dedicated video. Um, we are going to a birthday party. One of the, uh, the girls from our NCT group, it's her birthday, um, who's currently pregnant with her second, um, lives a walkable distance. We're actually going to her mum's house and it's gonna be a bouncy castle. Obviously all the parents are invited with alcohol. So it looks like the grandparents might be looking after the kids while we have half an hour off or so. Although I had that last weekend, so I can't complain too much, can I? Um, but yeah, not drinking too much because the weather looks good for Sunday. If the weather does change, I will get drunk instead. On the Xbox 360 Dead Island uh, Special Edition, uh, 2 49 free delivery, I think. On the PS2, platinum version of The Simpsons Hit and Run, 12 99 all in. And you'll see, apart from that kink in the uh, manual, it's actually in pretty good condition. Yeah, 12 99 all in. And above the TV is where I store some of my stuff. And as you can see, they're running pretty low. I need three as well. I've got one over there already. I've got one over there already. I need two. Down to about ten. So another couple. And I think I'll have to buy some more. Come buy this, please. Three DVD sized packages. So uh, it's currently Friday, and I have not long been to a car, not to a car, but to a charity shop. I filmed it last week, I think, and there were some golf clubs, and it was missed something, thanks to, to Lee, aka Coda Flipper, for sending me a message and saying, hey, you might want to go back and look at that. I did go back, and um, unfortunately, so I'm just doing my sat-nav, uh, I can't spell Asda. I went back and checked, and it was just women's clubs, and they weren't particularly great. But it was the Ms. Something brand, which was the one to look out for. So if I keep on repeating it, even though I've forgotten the full name of it already, hopefully I will remember it. But it was a charity shop that they do a lot of Googly. And I'd imagine um, the prices would have been, wouldn't have been far off what they were worth. So that's my, my only saving grace is if it's branded and they think it's worth a bit of money, they tend to look and double check. What else have I done today? Lots of driving, um, not been to the post office yet. I've got, I'm gonna go to Asda because I can't get to my next job for another hour and seven minutes. So I'm off to Asda, see what they got, grab some food, sit back, relax and work. So it's Friday afternoon. I don't think I've had a sale all day, but I think I have, I did draft some videos yesterday while I'm waiting for the computer to start, I've watched um, What If the What If uh, Captain Paul Peggy Carter was the first Avenger. Initially, I wasn't sure about the art style uh, and the art and the animation. However, I have to admit, towards the end of it, we both kind of liked it. It felt like old school Disney animation. And in my head, it was like Hunchback of Notre Dame. But I don't actually think it was. Thinking about it, well, I don't know. Either way, I'm intrigued. I know that there's a possibility of any character from this new branch of coming into the the cinematic MCU. And I have to admit, I would quite like to see Captain Carter because I think that would look goddamn awesome. I'm just waiting to uh, to load up eBay. 
so yeah, it was good. I watched it a few days late. Well, one day late. It came out on Wednesday. Watched it on Saturday. Uh, Saturday? No, watched it on Thursday. See, I can't multitask. I'm a man. Uh, so, yeah, that was... It's short. I mean, I know they skimmed over a lot of the story, but my God, you end up missing a lot. Uh, it, it felt very compact, shall we say. Uh, but... My seven day total so far at the moment is absolutely abysmal. It's £311, uh, but we've got a few more days to try and save that because that is woeful. Um, as for listings, there is 240 quid's worth going live. So we've got the, the Crusoe pot that I, I picked up uh, for £3. I put that on for £34.99. Uh, the Paul and Shark um, yachting is quite a desirable sub brand of Paul and Shark. So I put that on for 99 uh, the Cristiano Ronaldo footwear, 30 quid. Timon and Pumba. Uh, turns out that I think Pumba is a lot more uncommon than Timon. So I put the pair on for 50. Timon's worth about 12 to 15 pounds. Pumba's not very many very available at all. And then the Disneyland uh, Toy Story Aliens hat. Yeah, I've put that on for 23.99 all in. So fingers crossed. Um, yeah, they'll start flying out. And we also have some other stuff to do. The Threads Box by Zavi. So they, they send this out to me every single month and they just say, just unbox it. Let us know what you think. So stipulation, this does cost me nothing. However, you can pick up yourself for a tenner. And for that 10 pound, you will get one graphic novel and one t-shirt that are generally speaking worth about 10 pound each. Sometimes you even get a little bit extra, like a little bit of loose feel. Uh, okay, so we have a t-shirt. Oh, it's white. I can see some red in there, I think. And maybe blue. Oh, it's Star Trek. No, it's a Star Trek one. Ugh. I mean, it's officially licensed. It's always oh, 2020. We're going old school. Um, as always, worth about a tenner. Does this mean we're going to get a Star Trek book? It feels... Oh, no, it's bendy. It's a paperback. Is it going to be... Oh, it's Spider-Man. The Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, do, 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 any other information? Slot, Ramos, Caselli, uh, Remenda and Fowler, Spider Island. So we've got a Spider the Thing, Spider Iron Fist, Spider Captain America. I'm not sure who that is. I think that might be Logan. Black Panther. Oh, this might be worth a read, you know. So this retails at... $34.99, which is what, £25 or so. Uh, between keeping the New York City safe, a Spider Man being a member of two Avengers teams and the FF, Fantastic Four, I presume, and his day job at Horizon Labs, Peter Parker's life is crazy as it's ever been. And it's about to get crazier. Welcome to Spider Island, where a million New Yorkers suddenly possess Spider Man's powers, but none of the responsibility. Can Spidey play world-saving superhero while in the Big Apple when while the Big Apple gets eaten alive from the inside out? That could be worth a little shout. I'm going to open up a random page. And we've got Venom and Anti-Venom. So yeah, £10. That's easily a tenner, if not more than that. Um, and that's that horrible t-shirt is a tenner as well. But yeah, chuffle that. There'll be links down below.